the chairman has also embarked on his next big master plan. So this is the layout, um, the five, the wine glass. Mm -hmm. The, as I explained to you, this departure, mm -hmm. right? the arrival is separated as mm -hmm. in another building, right? And then we have further extension modular. It, was there a reason why you designed it this way? Because we find that if you combine them as in other uh, terminal, you may have to go up and down. Okay. Then we avoid that one level all the way departure, mm -hmm. all the way arrival. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so you will be able to get out of the airport quicker and faster? Faster. And segregate the passengers so that in terms of security control, you know what I mean? Yeah. You don't mix it. Mm. Don't mix it. In terms of look and feel, what will it look like? What are some of the technology you're, you're using well, to make this more well, efficient? Well, in technology, of course, you have as many a thing as in Terminal 4, the fast system, uh, where it's not man at all. You have from check-in to baggage handling to security or that, uh, man free. So those will be all be incorporated. But we try to make the airport, I always say, it look less like an airport. Mm -hmm. right? And yeah. we have succeeded. Now you come to our baggage hall, you don't feel that it's a factory. Because of the effect of using less steel, uh, more pleasing environment. So in terms of costs, it will be most expensive? Yeah, more course. expensive than all your airports you've built? Certainly. Certainly combining all the airports together. But you'll be here to see this through? Well, I'm 73. If I work until 80, I will see it through. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I will. That's why I'm keeping healthy. Singapore already has four terminals. Do we need another one so soon? Well, uh, you will say it's small, but actually compared to many airports, it's, it's big, but airport along the way is much bigger. We are really sandwiched between 2,000 hectares, two airports. Think about it. Actually, mm -hmm. T5 and what we call Changi East is another airport by its own right. So we are combining two airports within the area. So you are right, it takes up space. We cannot be caught as an air hub having not enough capacity. The last thing we want to do is business is coming, we don't have terminal capacity or runway capacity. We will need another 50 million passengers in 8 to 10 years' time. In fact, now if we go. So you're building ahead of demand? Well, we always, I believe that supply drives demand. Hi, I'm Christine Tan and thanks for watching Managing Asia. Do check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thanks for watching.